Hi, I'm Jane. Some people call me Organized Jane. And I hopefully will give you some inspirational tips today on how to start your business, how to organize your business better. But this channel is all about all things organizing your life and business. So please hit the bell below to be notified when I post a new video. Today's video is a bit different. I'm gonna be talking about my newest venture, Drink Glimmer Wine, that was developed, it was a long process, about two and a half years. <laughs> It was a vision between Marina and myself, and now we've brought in an excellent kind of sales, and we call her wine nerd because she's really um, integral in bringing the wine formula together, Janet. So together we've developed this premium de-alkalized sparkling wine called Glimmer. And we're really proud of it, and this process to bring this to life was not an easy one. <laughs> Uh, again, two and a half years of going back to the drawing board. At first, it wasn't even dealkalized. So, I used to drink a lot in my previous life, probably too much sometimes. Um, very North American way. We drink all the time, every day almost. And champagne was kind of a staple in every celebration and savoring champagne. I actually have the Glimmer bottle here sabered. <laughs> um, it was our first test to see, making sure that it could be sabered as well. But Really champagne was, and, and Prosecco, anything sparkling wine was integral in my life. And some people even called me Champagne Jane. And it was hard being a productivity coach, coach a time management guru, helping clients get their business organized when I woke up in the morning not feeling at my best. And that's when I noticed the effects of alcohol and what it was doing to my business life, my personal life, and I wanted to make a little bit of a change. And that's when I started drinking some non-alcoholic drinks, um, de-alkalized sparklings, and noticing there wasn't that many on the market. And it was kind of an aha moment where I was like, holy, this is, this could be the blue ocean strategy that we're looking for when we're making this special premium wine. Um, we make it de-alkalized and we make it taste good and we make it look beautiful. So the birth of Glimmer was really a long process. And I remember it was in May, of last year tasting that dealkalized sparkling wine. Um, now our competitor, but thinking there has to be another way we can create this. So uh, there was a lot of bumps on the road, you know, finding good suppliers. We Our grapes are sourced from the Yakima Valley in the United States. And this is very strategic because um, in Canada, there is difficulty getting grapes. Of course, we love going local, but um, we found really important to us was the supply and also the method in which the alcohol was removed because we really wanted to make sure the taste was still there. So a lot of back and forth and research on that facility. Um, and then having the wine delivered to Penticton where you can see here all the wines being bottled. Um, they're at one of BC's premier bottling facilities. So we partnered with them because we know it's so important that when the dealkalized product reaches them, it maintains its stability. It's now a food product. There's no alcohol to um, keep it stable. The shelf life isn't as long. So I've learned a lot about the food process <laughs> and um, all that goes along with that, which is also an interesting kind of learning for myself in a new business venture. So at, at the bottling facility, you can see they're putting all the beautiful caps on. We decided to go with this gold foil on the top just to make it really special and luxurious that was our goal so this is our first round of bottles and we've already got almost these sold out so it's a really big deal for us because the first round of bottling you always remember and of course lots of mistakes on the way <laughs> lots of hiccups but we did it and we bottled the first round of glimmer and now it's already going to be popping up um, in stores and restaurants starting in british columbia and then working its way across canada uh, what else was unique was just the process in terms of making sure that after it's bottled that we make sure the label is beautiful, the marketing is beautiful, and the branding. So that's where Marina really comes in and her expertise. And we had lots of meetings. <laughs> I say lots about the label, the quality of the label, what it should look like. You'll see there's an embossing too um, on the label as well. It's really important that we had this look like a premium sparkling wine product. And uh, the label was really important. So making it look beautiful on the shelves and making the taste when it hits your lips beautiful as well. Um, there's a lot of, you know, um, wine knowledge that comes along with this as well. And that's where Janet comes into play. And a lot of meetings were had about the taste, how to make sure 
we bring back in some ingredients that help with the mouthfeel, the flavors, making sure that we keep that really sparkling. We want this to be a truly inclusive occasion for anybody drinking this product. So again, a lot of work went into this and I must say at times this summer, <laughs> I wanted to quit. I thought, is I, I don't know if it's worth it running this business, running into food regulations. Um, it costs, it's costing a lot of money. We did take a, sh a large shareholder loan to do this and we are going to be bringing in some investors. So if you want to join us on this journey, there'll be an opportunity as well. So again, the cost and also a lot of moving pieces from logistics to of course branding to the taste and the food of the, uh, quality and all the aspects that go around with that. So I'm just excited that Glimmer Wine is here. It was a long process. <laughs> And it's going to continue to be a long process as with any business, but it's exciting for myself at least. I'm very used to digital products and digital businesses to have a physical product in my hand and actually be able to consume this on a daily basis without feeling guilty. So one of our taglines is guilt-free luxury and that's what uh, I've always been a fan of, you know, living that lifestyle, being luxurious, feeling your best and Drink Glimmer Wine really does promote that. So. I'm excited to share with you a bit more about the product. On our website, you'll find a little bit more information about the wine itself. It's um, a 2022 Chardonnay blend, or not blend, pure Chardonnay, so it's Blanc de Blanc. And we have all the information on the wine itself and just the process and how we created this. And I really would love it if you follow along on the journey and also how I organized this business similar to how I organized so many others using my six step process, focusing on all the buckets, making sure I have the good team in place and just excited to really share this with my clients, with you, uh, with anybody who wants to enjoy a sip of bubbly any time of the day for any occasion. And that's the story of Drink Glimmer Wine.